So when it comes time to attach your deck skins onto your frame, there is a few methods which you can go about doing it. Now, the simplest method, of course, is just clamping the hell out of it and getting on with the job, but that can cause some issues because you could introduce twist without knowing it, which means basically starting again, and we don't want to do that. And it requires quite a few clamps to do so. Now, over on Maker Addiction, there was a really good video on building the mini mail without any jigs and fixtures. And that is a really good method for some of our boards, namely the mini mail and the fish. But when it comes to a board with a slightly steeper rocker, like the egg, a rocker table is definitely the way to go. Now, what a rocker table is, is basically just a table which has incremental steps on it to match the rocker of your board. It doesn't need to be anything more than a flat surface, which you stack some pieces of wood on to match the rocker of any board you're working on. And that is exactly what this table is here. Now, a rocker table isn't strictly necessary for all boards, but when you're working with a board with a very steep rocker, like our egg, for example, it's definitely a good idea to put the time into it because without one, you can get boards which flatten out and may not perform as intended. Now this here is a really good example of a dedicated rocker table. So this is purpose built for one board and one board only. And in this case, it is our egg. So as you can see, it's a flat surface with these uprights which are evenly spaced to match the rocker of our board. So as you lay your board onto the rocker table, you can press down on it and everywhere is making good contact. This keeps your rocker in place and gives you an easy way to clamp your board up. Now, while that is a really good option, it may not be the most practical thing if you're only making one board. So this is our alternative. As you can see, it's just a flat surface and everywhere that has a cross member, we've spaced with a piece of wood. So here we've got a 50 millimeter, here we've got nine millimeter spacing. These two here have nothing, back up to nine and 35 and that is enough to match our rocker. So how do you actually use the rocker table? Well, it's pretty simple. Once everything is in place, it's a good idea to secure it. Now on a bench like this, it makes sense just to use tape or uh, hot glue, but you know, however you want to secure it, just so things don't move around. Now, once you've got your rocker table secured and nothing's moving around, it is a good idea to do some witness marks just so you can line up everything on your frame again. But from here, it's just a matter of putting your deck skin down in place, lining everything up again, and gluing things in place. Then for clamping, generally you can get away with just some weights, but it doesn't hurt to also have some uh, strips on hand in which you can apply across your board and apply some downward pressure like so with some clamps. Now, one last thing about doing your rocker bench on a table like this with cross members and no solid surface is that you can reach under the board and if you need to get a clamp up to uh, bring it into the rocker or the uh, concaves, I should say, you can actually do that with relative ease. If you're doing this on a flat surface, that will be a bit more tricky. Uh, so just keep that in mind that you may want to shim your board up higher so you can get under it, hold things in place while you apply some super glue or, or whatever you want to do to hold things in place. So basically to see this thing in action, you have done your dry clamp up to make sure it works and you leave the skin in place while you flip your frame over. Then using your polyurethane glue, you just apply it to every surface and then flip it over and clamp it in place. It's as easy as that. All right, so that's everything with glue. Now we can carefully flip it over, line it back up with our center line, and then use a combination of weights to hold everything down. Then we can come in with some cross pieces Now, once you've got your frame making good contact, you can come around and just clamp the rails in place in a few locations that need it. There's that one. You can see here, we haven't got the best contact, but that means we can reach under it, press up, and then this is just super glue. 
with an instant activator. So you can get this basically at any hobby shop for like remote control cars and planes and things like that. And now most woodworking supplies have it as well. If you're here in Australia, Timbercon is a stockist of it. And you just count to about five, let go. And now the super glue is acting as a clamp while this glue here dries. So I'm just gonna go across and bring everything up nice and tight with the super glue or anywhere that I can reach with a clamp like this, I will. But anywhere that I can't reach, I'll do with the super glue. Okay, and there it is. That is how we use the rocker table to attach the bottom deck. Top deck is very similar, but obviously we've got to wait for this to dry before we can get onto doing that. So we'll fade out to black. Next time you see this, it will be dry. So once you have your bottom skin attached to your frame, there's a few things that you have to do. Now, we went ahead and applied our support material for our fin blocks over on our other video, which was uh, working with the paper template and what it does for us. Before we put the top skin on, we also need to add some material which will support our vent plug. Now, hollow court surfboards like this need venting, otherwise they will just swell up like a balloon. So a vent plug is a must. Now the vent plug install is completely up to you where you want it. I like it up near the nose, so I have it on the uh, second rib from the nose. However, a lot of people prefer it to be down near the tail, and sometimes they even like it to be kind of in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason. So I'm gonna be gluing these two blocks of polonia, which I just, which are just three layers of polonia, which I glued together, which was all part of the skin offcuts. And they're just gonna go right here, either side of the spine, so I can drill a hole right in the middle of the board, and that will accept our vent plug. All right, so we're basically done for the bottom deck. Now it's time to move on to the top deck. Now we still have our vent plug drying, but it doesn't mean we have to stop work because that is clamped. So what we're gonna do is just trim the excess of the deck here with a pattern bit, which is a straight router bit with a bearing mounted on the end of it. And that will follow our rail and cut away all the excess material. So I'm gonna just flip the board over and then we can come in with our router bit and trim away all of the excess. So with the deck trimmed and uh, flush, now we can glue on the top deck. So that's just a matter of applying glue to all of these top surfaces of the frame, laying the skin over and clamping it in place. Now you'll see on our bench, we've got these straps which are added. So in our opinion, ratchet straps are the way to go. You can definitely use clamps still, uh, but with the straps combined with some nine millimeter plywood strips, which can go across the span, these, are all we need to get the top deck on. Along with some spring clamps along the outside edge, this is gonna be a really easy glue up. Now, you'll still need a few weights in some okay, spots. So now so I'm just doing all the clamps around the perimeter and that holds everything nice to the rail. And as you come along, just press uh, every couple of, uh, you know, not even every couple of inches, just everywhere on the deck and check for any flex. So if you have a void that really goes down, then you know you haven't got contact to your frame and you'll have to just apply some weight. So as you can see, we use bricks and also dumbbells. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, the rocker table has the ability to give us extra clamping options with these straps and coals as well as plenty of space around the profile to apply clamps on the edge to make sure that all of our rail has good contact as well. So I'll let that dry and we'll catch back up in a couple of hours. All right, and there it is guys. That is all there is involved with using a rocker table to glue on your top and bottom decks. So there's a few little things to remember before you get too far ahead of yourself. Get your bottom deck on first, then install your support material for things like your fins and vent plugs, maybe your leash plug too, and then you can go on and do your top deck. So if you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below, and also click that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all of our future DIY holo surfboard building tips and tricks and things like that.
starting next year, we will be having workshops in-house. So if you wanted to attend and learn to build a surfboard with me as your mentor, that's going to be happening January. So head over to diysurfboardkits.com.au to check out our range and stay up to date and stuff like that. Thanks, guys. See you next time.